Yeah, I, I was checking a little bit earthquakes in Europe and I found a town. <laughs> Check it out. Let's put on the terrain and you can see better that we have a volcano here. Kaiser Stuhl Vulcano? Probably extinct. Very old stratovolcano. Okay. Then we have a quake here two hours ago. Zero kilometers in depth and one on the other side of the Rhine. Also zero kilometers in depth. And we have also here, this is probably the same location, I don't know. Bac Naturel Regina du Tout. Eight hours ago. Nine hours ago. A belle herbe? Le Nordic de la ferme sur la roche. Le Nordic. Is there anything ancient? Probably not. I don't know. Might be. That's a region where you find all kinds of caves and stuff. As I showed you already earlier once. But here's our volcano. And we want to check out this town. So now in order to make it a little bit more exciting. We start all over again. <laughs> That's the volcano. This is the town. Just in case. Okay, now let's put all those labels away again. Check this out. It's a star. A star fortress. Neuf Prisach. Neu Preisbach. Alsatian. This is a fortified town and commune of the department of Orin in the French region of Alsace. The fortified town was intended to guard the border between France and the Holy Roman Empire and subsequently the German states. It was built after the Treaty of Ryswick in 1697 that resulted in France losing the town of Breisach on the opposite bank of the Rhine. The town's name means Neu Breisach, New Breisach. Today the town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of quintessential military fortification and its testimony to the influence of Woban in military architecture during the 17th and 19th century. Yeah, and I was surprised I didn't knew that there's this kind of thing there actually quite close to where I grew up. Interesting. And nearby in the fields, we can still see dendritical patterns and stuff. Or there might be also ancient ruins or something. I don't know. Might be elder towns. Interesting patterns. Roman temples or geological features? I have no idea. But you can see literally, it's like a lighter. Lidar. You know. You can see. 
to some degree what is underneath the ground. Let's... No, we don't. Because we are on Google Earth. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Vulcano. Tom. Neubreiser. Thanks.